Hey friends, Elizabeth Morse here from uh, Container Corner. I thought I would um, talk to you today about some fun things to do uh, for the Thanksgiving slash Halloween holiday. Uh, my garden is coming to an end. Um, I did pick up some pretty flowers um, at the florist and then I had um, a couple little fun sunflowers still left out there. And I thought I would bring them in. Um, we did have a soft freeze last night here in the middle of Indiana. Um, so I know that garden season is upon me. And while I don't really wanna bring in any plants um, uh, inside permanently, I thought I would do some cut flowers and show you some kind of fun things to do um, for uh, the Halloween and Thanksgiving season. So I have uh, in my yard right now, a ton of um, pumpkins. And those are things I typically don't grow in containers, although I do know some people that do. Um, what I do is I cut the top out, hollow it out, and then um, you can actually make an arrangement and set it down inside of the pumpkin. That's really cute. Um, another fun thing to do is if you have enormous pumpkins, which I'm gonna have some soon, um, same kind of thing. Uh, if you're gonna set them outside, they last quite a bit longer, which is nice. But I buy, um, oh gosh, like an eight, a six or eight inch mum at the grocery store or my garden center. And I just fit that right down inside um, and it looks really beautiful. Um, but anyway, I, I thought I would um, show that as just a little uh, a spark of imagination for a container. Then I also have um, just a plain ball jar and I have a ton of these because I am a gardener and a canner, but I think that they're kind of um, festive and um, make me think of the harvest season. So they make a really cute vase. And then I also have this kind of just plain one left over from some flowers that were delivered at some point. And so I brought those all down. Um, and I think that I've decided to just kind of go with this ball jar because it's simple, kind of pretty. And I have a friend who just moved into a new house. I don't mind parting with that ball jar. I'll probably maybe think about putting a, a ribbon if I can find one. And then, um, then I've got some different things here. I've got just some fall colored plants. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just kind of gonna start and snip some of these down. I've got my scissors here. And um, another fun thing to do if you're at the grocery store, a lot of times they have like a clearance section and um, you can find flowers that are maybe kind of past their prime but still have some life left. And um, you can pick out the good ones, trim them down and get a really good deal. And that's kind of fun too. So I'm gonna start um, snipping some of these guys down. And I like to cut, if you don't know this, on an angle, if you can see that. And what it does is it gives you more surface area here for your cut plant to take up water and nutrients. All right, so you can see, I have in mind for this to be facing this way when it's presented. And I think what I might even do is find out what kind of um, color scheme my friend has going on right now and, um, and put a bow um, on the jar, just a little ribbon for her kitchen. And if um, it doesn't go with that, maybe I'll just use something neutral, like a piece of, um, oh gosh, I don't know, raffia, something like that, twine, that would be pretty cute. So anyway, here is um, what I would like to think is a pretty darn cute um, fall decoration. And again, try these in your ball jars, try them in, um, in some recycled things for your kitchen or even in a pumpkin. Thanks for tuning in to Container Corner and we'll see you soon. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.